And that takes us to the very newest Rambo film. What was it called again? Oh, right. Rambo. Well, John Rambo in the country had called the first one Rambo. The movie is actually not that bad. I didn't know when I watched it, but I realized after I saw the original trilogy, this is the first pure Rambo black and white action flick that doesn't suck. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you watch 2 and 3 and imagine that that's not sly and it's not supposed to be Rambo, would you care to watch them at all? Now, on the other hand, would you not still watch The Terminator or Commando if that wasn't Arnold Schwarzenegger? I certainly would. It's great action nonetheless. Rambo 2 and 3 are not. The fourth one? Pretty. It's got several nice guerrilla tactics. I mean, the scene with the tall boy bomb is pretty freaking awesome. I would have liked to see him use the compound bow a little more, but I guess that might have also led to just overexposure. I thought the team was pretty cool too. It's just pure black and white. You've got the Burmese leader being a pervert. The action and the tension in the film work pretty well. The body count is ridiculously high. Yes, it's simplistic and dumb, but it's what fans of the series want. And I was very satisfied when I walked out of the theater. And the bit with the machine gun on the jeep? Badass. One thing that I do think should be noted is that Stallone shows the same gory detail and blood when bad guys die as well as good guys. And honestly, at times, you almost might feel sick when a bad guy dies or almost might start to cheer when a good guy does. But it's no secret that Stallone isn't necessarily that good of a director when it comes to the subtle things. Which is not to say that he hasn't directed very good movies. But Sly, I gotta give you credit. You knew what the fans wanted and you gave it to them. And hey, fighting against tyranny is more than okay in my book. Well, that was the Rambo franchise. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.